Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. This reading is going to be all 12 signs single. So let's get a few announcements out of the way first. Um, guys, our tarot deck is out, Magical Fantasy Tarot. If you're interested in purchasing a copy, you can get it on our website at quartzrosetarot.com. I am giving away a deck this month, and I'm also giving away three question readings. If you're interested in the readings or the, the deck, hashtag reading, hashtag deck, or hashtag both, you must be subscribed to win. Guys, if you want to become a channel member, um, the um, button to join is on the homepage for Quartz Rose Tarot. You do get members only content and you get access to all of the extendeds at one low price. So check that out. If you're looking for my information to book a personal reading, you'll find it in the description box below the video. So let's get into this, guys. Let's see what we got. All 12 signs for the singles. All 12 signs for my singles. My singles. What's happening? Aries singles. You got past love and feminine energy. So the feminine here, a feminine is, this is for Aries, you're thinking about a past love. Now you could be in that twin flame mode, or this could be that you're just thinking about an ex. You are waiting for a new beginning in love. You made a decision to cut out a commitment so that you could have a new beginning here. But now you're trapped in your head about this. King of Cups, be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. I feel like you're the feminine energy. You're coming in in the Queen of Pentacles mode, Aries. So this could be that you're an Empress in a minor arcana. You know, you're coming in as, you could come in as a wife. This could be a wife as well. Like you could have been married to this person and you cut them out because you wanted to start over. You're trapped in your head about this King of Cups. You still love this person, Queen of Pentacles. And, but there was a lot of burden. So you cut out them, cut them out because of some betrayal with a third party. Now this relationship is out in the cold. I feel like the masculine energy wants to take control of the situation and come in for a new beginning, illuminating that divine timings at play here. Like everything's going to happen when it's meant to happen. I feel like the, the third party, the option, there's a lot of strife, jealousy, competition about the, uh, you know, there's a lot of drama around this option. And somebody wants justice. Okay. I feel like, I feel like this masculine energy that may have cheated with a third party got more than they bargained for with this third party because this person this option caused a lot of drama now the person seeking justice here because of this ending is the king they're in a king of swords mode they're ready to fight for something so if you're a single aries female you may be in separation um, from a husband and because of a betrayal but you are thinking about this person Okay, so tell me about Taurus. Taurus singles. What's happening for the Taurus singles? <laughs> Lovers in the night, temporary, but you have interference. Like there's interference here. You can't even... Yeah. <laughs> 
I just heard you couldn't get laid with a fistful of fifties at this with this. Somebody here is interfering with you having a one night stand. Are you being are you being are you being rooster blocked? <laughs> are you being rooster blocked here? I'm just gonna be nice about that one. Rooster blocked. We're gonna call it rooster blocked, okay? Somebody is trying to, you're trying to get out there and have some fun and get a little, and you've got people interfering in your game. They are messing with your game, Taurus. <laughs> this might even be an ex that's interfering with you getting a little. Whatever this is, somebody's not letting you, not letting you um, do what you want. You want to cut this person out. You're like, no, nah, leave me alone. So you walked away from a, a Ten of Cups. You walked away from, it could be a relationship, something that somebody could be a baby mama, could be a baby mama. Could be a baby daddy. Take it out. Resonates with you. But the wheel's turning. You're trying to move on because all they do is fight and argue. And you're constantly having to stand your ground and tell the truth. It's almost like this person badgers you and badgers you. Even if you're telling the person the truth, this person isn't listening. They think that you're lying about it. They think what, no matter what you tell them, they think it's a lie. So they're like, this is like they're standing their ground for the truth constantly. Right. And there's no equal give and take, you, you know, you hold back from this, you hold, try to hold back from them because you, you've decided that you have a decision to make. There's a choice here. There's somebody that you might want to be with. And start a relationship because you think they might give you some equal give and take in a situation. And you could have something with this person. But trying to take the leap to work on it, you're getting cut out. You're getting cut out because the person that you left behind is not letting you go. It's almost like you're single, but it's almost like you're dragging them around like a chain around your ankle. They've got their claws into you. Taurus, they've got their claws into you. You're, and they're, gone, they're not going to let you run off and get any with somebody else because the, you can't shake this person loose. They won't, leave, they won't, they're like super glued to your leg. Can't do it. Okay, so tell me about Gemini singles. Gemini singles, what do we got? What do we got for the Gemini singles? So you casually date this person, possibly. You know somebody at a distance that you may, when they come into town, it's a temporary thing. I feel like you're, you're getting a little spice on the side here. This is just a friends with benefit kind of thing. You casually date this person, but it's not really any big deal. I feel like it's more sexual than anything here. Tell me about Gemini singles. Oh. That person might be waiting for love, but you could be holding back. I feel like you need to overcome some obstacles. So something's been illuminated that you need to overcome here. You are taking control of your wish fulfillment. And I have, feel like this has to do with your money situation. Gemini, you may be in that King of Pentacles kind of mode. You're more worried about your security and doing what's right for you in this, you know, for the time being, working on your money. Um, it, you might have had some issues with the financial or your stability and you're you may be obsessed with not talking about it you know like the burden is obsessive and you don't want to talk about it i 
I do, I do see that this person, this person that's wanting love, they're waiting for love, waiting for a new beginning in love there, but you're holding back because you're kind of, um, I feel like this is an obstacle that's, that's being illuminated. Overcoming an obstacle is being illuminated. You're taking control of your wish fulfillment, which is your security. You could be obsessed with the burden here. Like you have to figure out what you got to do, what your next step is. You're not talking to this person about it, but this person wants to emotionally communicate. A choice or an offer to move forward they they want to know if you have other if you're if you're holding back because you have other options here if you have other choices you may be at a crossroads about moving forward with this offer you're not telling this person what the real problem is. That's a problem. You're not telling this person what you're really dealing with. And so they're most emotionally communicating that you might have choices here, right? And so with that, you're kind of at a crossroads about forward movement with this offer. I feel like communication is the biggest issue here especially if you guys are comfortable with one another, but I do see it's temporary casual dating and you literally could be at a distance from one another. Okay. So tell me about cancer singles, cancer. What singles cancer's up to? What are we doing with the cancer singles? You got message, eye of the beholder. So this might be somebody, beauty's in the eye of the beholder here. This is the eye of the beholder. This might not be everybody's cup of tea, but cancer, is it you, is it them? Um, somebody is like messaging, but maybe they're not your type. You might be hearing from people that are not your type. Um, if you have a type, I think we all do. We all have preferences. That's for sure. So maybe it's not that this person's different than you. It's just that I feel like this person might not be your type of person. So you may be getting messages from somebody who's just not your, not your normal type. Like if you, if you like, like, if you like brown skin men, or if you like white skin men, or if you like blonde hair guys, or if you like dark haired eyes or guys, and you, you know, you want a guy with blue eyes and blonde hair or a guy with brown hair and brown eyes, whatever your preference is, this is something that is, not quite your preference. So you've looked back at the past here. You may have blocked this person. Um, and now you may be holding back trapped in your head about should you walk away You're, you may be holding back from walking away you might be thinking more about it like should i give this person a chance should i you know you know the problem here is is that if if guys never never look at anything for face value never look at anything for face value you know you got to open the book and read the book before you can judge it you know what i'm saying you can't just go by the cover you have to actually read the book because you may be passing up a wonderful person a wonderful person somebody who could bring a lot to your life and if you have a specific type and you don't open your mind to 
exploring other people and different things, um, you may be the one missing out on this because in the past you may have blocked this person, but now they're coming back around and you may be holding back from walking away because you're a little trapped in your head. You're coming in as um, a queen of pentacles, cancer. You could be um, an empress in a minor arcana, or this is just your very solid, stable, dependable. Maybe you're very independent. Maybe that you've got your own pentacles and you're older and you're more, um, you're more settled. Um, I feel like you're trapped in your head about the relationship moving forward with communication. Like, you know, should I give this person a chance? Should I open that door to explore more? I have options, but I'm not, you know, there's options I'm not talking to. I'm not talking to the king of swords. So there's an option that you're not talking to right at the moment. You may be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and now you're at a crossroads about like, you're not sure. You're not sure. You're, you're kind of a discontent. You're at a crossroads trying to figure out, do I want to talk to this person and get to know this person? Um, I feel like, I feel like with you cancer, you might be older and more settled and you may be very independent. And so you're kind of more in your head about, you know, when you get to this stage, when you get to this stage and you're a cancer, let me show you when you get to that stage, you really don't give, you don't give a shit whether you're dating or not. Some people are just like, I'm good. I don't need anybody to make me happy. I make myself happy. Right. And you know, you, you go to a point where, you know, you get the drama and all the nonsense. It just is not part of what you are going to allow into your life. Right. So you would just assume walk away from something as to, um, have to deal with it right but for some reason you're kind of feeling like i should give this person a chance i should at least get to know this person and see if there's anything there between us right because there may be an option but this may be this person may be not speaking to you at the moment like you're not hearing from this person and you're kind of maybe a little frustrated about that so if there's a tension that you're wanting this person's not giving it to you but the other person is um so Cancer, it's up to you. Up to you. Okay, tell me about Leo singles. Leo. What do we got for Leo? Anticipation and winter. Past love under the bottom of the deck. So you may have somebody coming back home. They may be at a distance. They may be moving back in the winter time. You're anticipating them coming back in the, in the winter. Um, the past love, though. Let's see what we've got. For Leo. So you're healing yourself. You want justice. You want happiness and success and divine timing. You have taken a step back and you're looking at things from a different perspective. You are like taking care of business here. You're taking care of you. There's a lot of self care here. You feel left out in the cold waiting for love. Okay. Leo, somebody's messing with you. Somebody's messing with you. Okay. You're doing, you're putting the work in here. You're recovering. You want justice and happiness and success in a situation in divine timing. 
You're taking that step back to look at things from a different perspective, waiting out in the cold for love. Okay. You're out in the cold waiting for this person to come back around, but you have deception and you have the devil. Somebody could be lying to you. They're, they could be playing mind games and manipulating you. This person could be a workaholic. I feel like they're trying to play mind games and manipulating you. It's almost like they want to see if you still care. Because this is about them rushing to somebody from their past and, and discontent. So rushing in and out like they the person you're dealing with is the one doing this okay somebody is messing with you they're lying to you with that deception and with that devil energy they could be obsessed with working they could be a chronic liar they could be um they could be a workaholic they like to play mind games and manipulate people and rush in and rush out to you and leave you unhappy and cut you off again. So it's almost like they come in and get what they want and leave. And you're stuck there all in your feelings again. You got excited thinking this person's coming back, but this person may be just manipulating you. So watch, be very careful with this one. Okay, tell me about Virgo singles. Virgo singles, please. You got an enamored love potion and you got the real deal. Tell me about this enamored love potion, please. You got farewell. I almost feel like somebody is trying to take somebody's man. That's what I'm feeling like. Tell me about Virgo, please. Tell me about Virgo, please. Mm -hmm. So see you have Virgo. I feel like there's a tower moment when you find out the truth about what's hidden. Mm -hmm. Virgo, I feel like somebody is trying to steal your man or still somebody that you're uh, very attracted to because I feel like you're single here. I feel like you're single, but you may have met somebody and somebody's wanting to steal them away. So farewell to the real deal. Right? Because um, a love potion, like they're maybe doing love spells. Because it's causing you a tower moment when you find out the truth about the illusion. 
right? This is you having to overcome an obstacle to heal. But you feel like this is almost like you're bound to the devil here, right? Because this is like that eight of swords being bound to this toxic energy. Tell me about this. Like you want to, it's almost like you want to reconcile your strength here against this queen of wands energy who's causing all the drama. You're like, you know, you have to protect your energy from this. And you may have some, you may miss this person, you may miss this king of wands, or you're feeling some kind of loss where this king of wands is concerned. You're having to master your emotions here about the, about this could be about the relationship. So here's the thing. You may be Virgo. You may be a single person, a single lady, and you may have met your twin, but in the midst of all of this, you have somebody trying to, um, still this person back away from you. It's almost like you may have, um, like you stepped into a big old pile here, a big old pile. Because once you realize the tower falls when you find out the truth about the illusion. So you realize that this person may be your twin. You felt the connection to this person, but you feel like, like you, you need to overcome an obstacle or that you are trying to block somebody so that you can heal. But Somebody here could be, you feel they may be bound to the devil. So you feel like that illusion, you're figuring out that this king of wands could be bound to the devil, trying to master his emotions about the relationship as well. But it's almost like reconciling your strength against this person, but you've got to protect your own energy. So this may be that Virgo, you may have met your twin. And you have a third party here that's trying to completely block you from getting anywhere here. Okay, tell me about Libra singles. Libra singles, please. You got farewell Casanova swept off your feet. Okay. So Casanova may have been there for a one night stand. Casanova could be a player. So Libra, you may have had a real good fun night. <laughs> That's kind of what this seems like. Like you got a good night out of it. Yeah, they're coming in as a king of wands. I see it. I want it. It's mine. He wants a victory, but he's a heartbreaker. See, this person, yeah, you got the Knight of Wands under the bottom of the deck there for a good time, not a long time, right? So this, this King of Wands is, is a player. They want a victory. I mean, it's almost like this person, farewell, Casanova, swept off your feet. They're a heartbreaker. They're in their ego and they break hearts. They may be a sweet talker, but you're really manifesting this king of swords here. They're strategic. They don't show emotion. They're kind of cold. They're at a crossroads. They're at a crossroads here about how to cut you out. Should they just cut you out or should they tell you the, the truth and cause a tower moment? 
should they tell you the truth and just cause you a tower moment? That's kind of what this is. This person could even be married. They could be in a commitment. Yeah, because I feel like they're moving, they're moving on their commitment. They're moving on. There's some kind of a betrayal communicated to the um, queen of pentacles. This could be a wife. So you may have met somebody and this person may have swept you off your feet and gave you a good night or whatever, but they're just a player. They're just a player. They're there for a good time, not a long time. And they actually could be married to somebody. They don't know how to tell you the truth or they want to just walk away, cut you out, or they're going to tell you the truth and cause you a tower moment because they may have lied about being married. Okay, so tell me about Scorpio singles. Scorpio singles. Dreaming of you. Plenty of fish in the sea. So that dreaming of you. Plenty of fish in the sea. Let's see what we've got. Okay, so Scorpio. You have options. You have options, Scorpio. Um, so you might be thinking about, you walked away from a new passionate beginning of working, working with a King of Pentacles. You walked away from this. Um, I feel like you're waiting now for equal give and take. You're coming in as very solid, stable, and dependable here. Um, This could have been a boss. Were you having an affair with a boss? You waited for equal give and take. You wanted this to be Okay. No, that's not what's happening. You walked away from a marriage. This is you walking away from a marriage, Scorpio. Um, you walked away to have a new passionate beginning, maybe to work on yourself. Maybe that you tried working with this king of pentacles and you waited for equal give and take because you're coming in as a king and a queen. You've communicated and communicated to this person, um, but all they've done is broke your heart. You want a victory, Scorpio, so you're rushing out. You're going to offer your cup to somebody else. So... Dreaming of you, you wanted to be with one person, but they didn't give you what you wanted. And so you're like, I got options. There's plenty of fish in the sea. I'm going to go rush towards somebody else. King of Wands, right? I'll have a victory here regardless. I'm going to win. I didn't get what I wanted with the, uh, with the, the husband. So I'm going to move on and have what I want single. Okay, so tell me about Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Singles. And you've got the heart on lockdown. And you've got casual dating. Like you don't want nothing serious. Nope. You don't want anything serious, Sagittarius. You're just 
my heart's on lockdown and I'm just going to casually date. I'm not going to, I don't want anything. I don't want anything too serious here. Keeping it light. You may be trapped in your head, obsessed with healing, divine timings at play, empress energy. That's why. You're not speaking to your king of wands because of all of the burden, so you're trying to move forward and close out a cycle. Trying to overcome some obstacles to have a victory and a new passionate beginning. But you'll walk away and leave somebody out in the cold if you have to. I, I feel like what's happening is you got an empress here and the emperor hasn't hit that, hit, hadn't hit emperor status. She's not speaking to this person because of the burden. She's trying to close out a cycle with this person. But here's the thing. You're not going to be able to close out any cycle here. And yes, you can be single and abundant and do your thing while you're met to. But this is about you really trapped in your head, obsessed with healing uh, in divine timing. You're trying to make yourself right. And right now you're just like, I don't want anything too serious. I just want to casually date. I want to go out and have fun. And that's all I want here. That's all I want because I can walk away and leave somebody out in the cold if I have to. You know, I want a victory and a new passion at the beginning, but I can walk away and leave anybody out in the cold when I need to. And that's what you're going to do, Sag. Okay, so Capricorn. Tell me about Capricorn singles. Capricorn single. Arrows are the heart, Cupid. Arrows of love, Cupid. And the key to my heart. Okay, you got the arrows and the key. You might fall for somebody here, Capricorn. You have a strong emotions that you're trying to master. You could be at a crossroad, a, a juggling back and forth emperor energy. You want somebody who's stable, solid, stable, and dependable. That's going to give you equal give and take. You're manifesting, um, working on working and, and building something here together. You're going to be honest with this person. It, you're looking to settle down is what this looks like. You could be trapped in your head. You, you know, like this is like you're wanting the truth. You will cut them out if they lie to you. And you're at a crossroads about having this new passionate beginning with a pre empress energy, right? So you realize that this person's your person. You know, you got the key to their heart. They've got, you've got the key to their heart. And this arrows of love, this is like that chemistry between the two of you is off the hook. These are strong emotions you have to master and you're back and forth about this, taking control of it. This is more about you want to make sure that this person's going to be stable, solid, stable, dependable. Um, I feel like this is you, Capricorn. This just saying this, you wanting equal give and take, manifesting, um, building something here, working on building something, but you want somebody who's going to be honest you will cut them out if they lie and you're at a crossroads about a new passionate beginning with this person. You just, you feel the chemistry. You just don't want to play any games with anybody. Okay. Tell me about Aquarius singles, Aquarius singles, Aquarius singles, please. Love and lace innocence and higher purpose. Okay. So you know that 
somebody's very innocent, love and lace innocence and a higher purpose. Tell me about Aquarius. You're mastering your emotions about something that's hidden. Or you have strong emotions that you've got to master. Mastering some strong emotions. Very guarded and defensive about mind games and manipulation. This could be an X. This could be an X. Or this could be, you know, baby mama. Your wish fulfillment is a choice, is to make a decision here. You have a choice here, a choice. So this may be somebody going back to an ex and love and love and lace innocence. It's almost like this may be a childhood love. You feel like there may have been a higher purpose between you guys. Um, you may be on a different path, but I feel like you're mastering some strong emotions, you're kind of guarded about the mind games and manipulation of a queen of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, or this could be just, you know, somebody you've known, you may have children with this person. Your wish fulfillment is to make a choice here. You want the truth. You want a truth here. So, okay. This person may have cheated on you. Aquarius, this person may have cheated on you. And now you're kind of looking, going, saying, you know, we have children. This is a family situation. My wish is for you to make a choice. I want you to be honest. It's been a long time coming. Do we want to work and rebuild this situation? We have an opportunity to take that leap and, and have a victory. So this is almost like you're just telling this person, look, you need to make a choice. Is it him or me? And, you know, we have an opportunity to make this right, to move this forward. But enough of the games. This may be somebody you've known since childhood, you know, innocent love. Higher purpose. Like you may feel like this is a twin. So there you go. There you go. Okay. So tell me about Pisces singles, Pisces singles, Pisces singles. Realization, leather lust bound. <laughs> <laughs> Pisces, Pisces, did you meet somebody who's a little, likes it rough? They like it rough. They like it rough. They like to be tied up. Come into the realization that this person likes a little bit of kink. There you go. You may be. <laughs> Oh, this is, okay, this is more funny than it is anything. Okay, so you're kind of trapped in your head and a little brokenhearted when it illuminates this person, this new passionate beginning in this. What's illuminated might break your heart a little bit. Like, it's like, oh my God, I really like this guy, but he's just a little too, too much, a little too much. Yeah, I feel like you thought that this could be, you could have all 10 cups with this person. You thought that you could be, yeah, you're going to close out a cycle too. Okay, so you may be having a little trapped in your head, a little heartbroken, illuminating a new passionate beginning with somebody you thought you could have had 10 cups with to work on this, making a choice. Could be a king of pinnacles, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Um,
Now, this also could be a same sex single because I feel like one is in control, but they're both in masculine energy. You could have had all 10 cups with this person and working on making a decision you could be making a de decision or you both could be just in masculine energy uh making a decision where this person is concerned because you have to take control but you're back and forth about it about this relationship should you walk away or should you offer your cup but you really you're at a crossroads and you even think about it because this person may be your realization that this is leather and lust and bound this person's a little bit too um out there sexually then uh one's more calm and one's more out there so you may end up closing out the cycle here pisces this might be too much for you so uh, guys that's all i have for you if that resonates please leave me a comment down below don't forget to like share and subscribe and i hope everybody has a blessed week